Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the theory of spontaneous generation that is the abiogenesis and the biogenesis what is the difference between them so in previous times that means in ancient time people used to believe that the non-living the living things or the living organisms could be developed from the non-living matter spontaneously that means suppose here a here a piece of meat is present and now from this meat that means from this non-living things some eggs of flies can be generated and from this egg the they develop the maggots and from the maggots the flies will be developed so from the from the meat that means from the non-living things the flies that is the living organisms can be developed so this is the main principle of spontaneous generation but we all know that there there the spontaneous generation cannot be exist okay so to challenge to challenge this spontaneous generation theory at first a scientist came he was the francisco ready so he showed his experiment to disprove the spontaneous generation so here he take a container container with a meat container with a piece of meat and the container is free that is open that is unsealed okay and he take another container with a meat that is sealed that means no air or no flies can be in contact with this meat so here the flies can be came here and they laid their eggs there so from these legs they produce maggots and from maggots they produce the flies okay but here as it is sealed so no flies can lay their eggs on the meat so no maggots will come so from this experiment francisco ready claimed that the no that no life no life organism or no living organisms can be generated from this non living meat okay so by these things he claimed the spontaneous generation cannot be exist but the supporters of this spontaneous generation theory they raise a question they raise a question that is for living organisms for to develop a living thing from the non living thing in spontaneous generation there should be a vital force that is there should be there should be a free air present to develop a living organism from the non living matter so a free air is present but here he experiment it in a sealed condition so again he performed same experiment with a cover that is made up of gauze a cloth he covered it with the gauze and now the air can be passed through it but the flies cannot pass through it and they these flies laid their eggs on this gauze and from this they produce maggot outside but there is no maggots present in the meat so from this he claimed that the spontaneous generation cannot be exist but in next in support of spontaneous generation another scientist came up so here the scientist a scientist was john needham he showed his experiment in support of this spontaneous generation but in the previous the francisco ready showed his experiment against the spontaneous generation and he raised his experiment against in support of spontaneous generation so here he take container with the nutrient fluid or nutrient broth and the container is open so when he boiled it the microorganisms will be die the living organisms will die and then he cooled it at room temperature and then he sealed it and then after that after some days he got some growth so he claimed that from the non living thing that is from the nutrient broth or nutrient fluid the growth comes so the spontaneous generation can be done so spontaneous generation is first exist can be exist okay 
so but the main hidden thing behind this is that when he boiled it the microorganisms will die but when he cooled it at room temperature this time he contaminated with he contact with the air free air from this he the broth get contact with the microorganisms and also the endospores cannot cannot be killed by boiling so from this when he give time he got some growth got some turbidity that means it got some bacterial growth so from so this is the hidden thing so to for this to against in this his experiment another scientist will come to of this for this experiment against this experiment okay and he was lazaro spallanzani he raised the same experiment but at first here he take the sealed here he take the open container but here he take the sealed container okay so now here is a nutrient broth is present with the sealed container and he boiled it when he boiled it the microorganisms will die and when he uh, cooled it at room temperature then he got no growth so he said that no living organisms can be generated from the non living nutrient broth so no spontaneous generation can be exist but now the supporters of spontaneous generation again raise the same question which are asked in the experiment of francisco reddy that is there should be a free air is required a free air is required for the generation of living organisms from the for the of the from the non living organisms there should be a free air to generate the living organisms from the non living matter okay so at the end at the end louis pasteur came up with his unique experiment to stop this debate and he disproved the spontaneous generation theory so his experiment he came up with a container that is swan swan neck container this swan means a bird that is a duck like bird whose neck is s like so that that that's why he called it a swan like container and in a swan like container he take a nutrient broth or nutrient fluid solution and when he boiled it all the vegetative cells will die okay all the vegetative cells will die and we will get broth remains sterile we will get the sterile broth there is no contaminant with the microorganisms so from this he conclude that the non living things from the non living things living things living matter living organisms cannot be generated and after that when he cut this net cut this s means cut this swan net then he so he, then he saw that the air will come with this come in contact with this broth and he got the turbid growth that means the that is the reason of contamination with the microorganisms from the air to the broth okay so at the end of this experiment louis pasteur conclude that if if a if a nutrient broth if a nutrient broth is microbes free the nutrient broth is microbes free and a air which is microbes free is given then no no living organisms can be generated from the non living matter if the microbes free air and microbes free nutrient is given or provided then no living organisms can be generated from the non living matter that is non living nutrient broths okay so in this way he disproved the spontaneous generation of theory spontaneous generation theory okay but here he faced some challenge that means he failed in his experiment many times he have to repeat his experiment many times because many times he got some turbid that means he got some growth that is because during boiling the vegetative cells will die but 
means sometimes it is contaminated with the endospore which cannot be killed by simple boiling so in some years or in some days after when they get suitable condition for growth they grow and make a target solution so for this reason Louis Pasteur have to perform it repeatedly or many times so so to support this experiment of Louis Pasteur another scientist will came with his unique experiment to support strongly in against of this spontaneous generation theory so the next scientist is John Tyndall and his process or his experiment is called the Tyndallization okay so here John Tyndall said that the bacteria can be present in two forms one form is the heat labile form that means heat sensitive form that is the vegetative cell and another is the heat resistant form that is the endospore okay so bacteria can be present in heat sensitive form or in heat resistant form so here suppose the vegetative cell that is the sensitive means heat sensitive form and heat resistant form are present now when we boiled it the vegetative cell will be die and now when we cool, cool it at room temperature this time when they get suitable when the endospore get suitable condition they will germinate and when we when we again boiled it they will killed by this boiling treatment then again we cooled it at room temperature and if any other endospore remain they will germinate and at the end they also will be killed and when we cool it at room temperature we will get totally sterile that means no vegetative cell or no resistant endospore can be present and they got a sterile microbes free nutrient so from this John Tyndall proved that the from the non-living nutrient broth or non-living nutrient non-living nutrient thing the living organisms cannot be generated there must be a living thing is present to generate a living organisms okay so by this intermittent boiling or by discontinuous boiling treatment he disproved totally disproved the spontaneous generation theory okay thank you for watching this video